Hello, Ryan Borden here, aka Loopline. In this video, it's just going to be a quick video showing you how to URL encode or decode. So you can URL, you can encode or decode a list of URLs based on standardized formatting. So if there's special characters or that sort of thing, or even a space in the URL, which shouldn't happen, but if there was, you could encode that and make everything happen just because sometimes web servers don't work the way they're supposed to. Or if you scrape up a list of URLs and you find that they are already encoded, you can decode them. So under more list tools here, we can URL encode a list and it makes it look like this. And so that turns any kind of non-standard formatting. So this is the colon and the forward slash forward slash, and this is the forward slash at the end. If we roll down to other things, we can see long URLs here with all kinds of stuff going on. Um, all of the uh, slashes are encoded. Everything's encoded. So this is standardized encoding, and this will work on any browser, and it's always going to load. So if you're having a problem with a link, you could encode it. Or if you scrape up a list, and for some reason the engine you're using gives you this, or you get a list from somewhere else, some other program, or some other person, or a purchase list, whatever. If you've got a list of URLs, or line items, it doesn't have to be URLs, it could be email addresses or a list of keywords for some reason that the space in between the keywords was encoded when you got it so that it would work with URLs but you don't want it to be encoded, you could load it in here, go to more list tools and URL decode a list. And then it makes it look like this. Again, if this was a list of keywords that had spaces, so if I do car, car and truck, green, and that sort of thing. And for some reason, I need to make this work with a list of URLs. And I then encode this. That sort of thing. It's got a plus sign, right? So now if I get this and it has encoded data from something and I want to get rid of all this so I can use it in Scrapebox or whatever, then I can decode that list and make it back like this. And so that's how you can decode or encode a list of URLs, emails, keywords. Doesn't matter. It's a line by line grid. You can decode or encode anything that you load in. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy and if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.